It's showtime. Long-winded, running through this life like it was mine. Never settling, but setting every goal high. 1,000 burpees on the path to my own destruction or success. But what is a mistake without the lesson? I'm the type that's gon' go get it, no kidding Breaking down a switch in front of your building Sitting on the steps, feeling no feelings This is my area, this is where I grew up at This is really like where I spent a lot of my time as a youth Our, our neighborhood basically go from like Slauson to Florence A lot of people got killed out here on these streets Crunch time for Nipsey Hussle. Yeah, yeah. And you know, they were looking at other rappers and comparing you and saying it's been so long and right. what happened. And right. I mean, you know, it's so much underlying events that took place in between me leaving Epic Records and Crenshaw coming out. Real life things, street shit, you know, that never really got written about because it doesn't belong on the front page. My brother going to the penitentiary, us getting raided, us having real war in the streets. From the east to the west. It was heavy. It was knee deep in something real. And it was about surviving and defending our, you know, opportunities. And so that took a toll on the music and the productivity. I don't ever make moves under pressure. I try not to. On, on Crenshaw, I've said this is gonna be the first time I give my fan base to direct and say, if you wanna reciprocate for the inspiration that I've given you over the course of these five mixtapes, here's how you do it, proud to pay. It's a hundred dollar CD, come to the pop-up shop. So you know I had one over enough people that we sold out the first thousand in the first day. My whole intention was just get the people talking about it. I want everybody to you know, be like, why is he charging a hundred? What make you think it's worth a hundred? I was at the time when Jay was doing the Magna Carta New Rules thing. Conscious that there's a intentional pushback from allowing we could unpack each one of those people that look like me. Yeah, I'm supposed to be in jail or dead. It's a whole prison complex. You know what I'm saying? Then you think about as an artist, there's a business model that exists in the music industry to prevent you from having ownership, to prevent you from being a partner in the lion's share of the profit. And dirty money get washed on royalty statements. Black owners in this game are powerful races. The value is created in content. So when I think of us as hip hop artists, we create content, but we don't have a wide product line. You go to Disneyland, they got tons of products. Ears and all, at Disney, Mickey, everything. And so that's, that's the vision behind the Marathon store. It was more natural. And it, and it resonated at a higher frequency to put it on Crenshaw and Slauson just because of the significance of that corner. I've been hustling on that corner since I was 15. We all started right there. We popped a trunk and was, was grinding on that corner from kids, from teenagers. Tupac of my generation, young black nigga trapped and he can't change it. Know he a genius, he just can't claim it because they left him no platform to explain it. He frustrated so he get faded. But deep down inside, he know you can't fade him. And I've had that thought myself, and I'm sure these young people coming up, trying to put two and two together, deal with that, you know? So that was just an honest reflection on my mentality before I was, I was embraced by music and, you know, got recognized and started to make money off of my art. 
We don't got no 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 means to go get it. You know what I mean? Other than our little pistols and handguns, we got choppers and all that. These niggas got millions of dollars, institutions set up, but that's the culture of where we come from. This is my daughter Imani Dior. Is this your first Grammys? Yes. How are you feeling? Good. Dad, how are you feeling? I feel great. Incredible. How did you feel when you got the call that this body of work? Because you put a lot into it. It received a lot of great buzz, a lot of great feedback, but it was also being recognized by the Academy. Right. Um, it's my debut album, you know, so for my first one out the gate, it's like, you know, it was overwhelming a little bit. You know, it was, um, like I said, inspiring, you know, humbling, you know, a um, combination of feelings. Do you yeah. feel any of that sophomore album pressure now? You know what, I don't. I feel like, you know, you get one chance to make a first impression. You know what I mean? And from there, it's about consistency. So, I feel like we did it. We put a, a great foot forward on the first one. We're we'll gonna go back in strong. I love that. Yeah. How are you gonna celebrate tonight? Man, I got a music video to shoot in the morning, so. Work we never might, We might take a shot and we gotta get back at it tomorrow. Yeah. Back in this bitch like I never left. Stand for some shit that you never read. Fans, family, and closest friends all agree he's one of the realest MCs out there of his time. Now, this title d isn't just because of his rhymes, talking about the life in South L.A., but because he's creating change in South L.A. Seven mixtapes, a chart-topping studio album, and a lot of... Nipsey Hussle's lifelong grind is paying off, and now... The 33-year-old rapper is paying it forward in Crenshaw. My career started right here. This this community put me on. Yes, sir. Nipsey started in this parking lot on the corner of Slauson and Crenshaw. He used to sell his unsigned mixtapes out of the trunk of his car. Now, you actually own half of this lot. Yeah, me and my, my family, um, Black Sam, Adam, uh, my pops, you know, the whole team. He also owns Marathon Clothing Store, which not only sells his label, but lets his visitors use an app to enhance their shopping experience. We're playing a long game. We don't want the money to stop when we go. When we can't work no more, we want it to outlive us. We want it to be generational. And next door, a basic needs shop. They sell everything from prepaid cell phones to fragrances. And at both stores, Nipsey hired local artists. This Tanny. Hi, One Teddy, of our, I'm Leah. Uh, partners and up and coming artists. Okay. By the end of this year, Nipsey will also open a barber yeah. shop. And so we're going we gonna to call this um, Steve's. It is named after my homeboy, Fats. You know what I mean? Uh, this is a tattoo of him right here. He, he, yeah, he was murdered last year. And a Creole seafood restaurant. And everything. All the um, equipment was brand new. All of these businesses are family owned and operated. Nipsey says businesses are only part of the change. For true change, he's starting with kids at 54th Street Elementary, an area plagued by violence. Yeah, I think it's just about offering a new identity, you know? Like it is, it is, um, it's not weak to be strong. It ain't weak to be, to make smart moves. He hired a local artist to help spruce up this basketball court. And I see in the inside, it's got safety, respect, yeah. friendship, yeah. kindness, yeah. Yeah. Principles. community, you principles. Know, principles, yeah, to live by. And in attempt to attract entrepreneurs to the community, his latest business venture is Vector 90, a co-working space in the Crenshaw district. It's very important that um, co-working spaces or spaces like this exist in communities like this for people of color, where we can have resources and spaces to work and to network and to meet with people and collaborate with people. So, for a young boy from Crenshaw who started with nothing. I got you, big dog. Let me sign that part of the yes, front. Nipsey Hussle has given everything, hope, opportunity, and resources for his community to grind and succeed. Meditate and get into yourself and find out what's really motivating. Very inspiring. And he's not done yet with building up that area. The first floor of that co-working space will be a STEM center for young people. Nipsey also teamed up with Puma to revamp that basketball court for the kids as well. And Nipsey Hussle will also be stopping by Good Day LA tomorrow morning.
Nipsey may not, may not have noticed me, but I did a backpack giveaway <laughs> with him about three or four years ago. So he's so busy now. Yeah. What's up next? So he says he has some announcements to make, oh. but he wouldn't spill the beans. But maybe he'll share it tomorrow morning on Good Day LA. But he does say he has some something in the works. He's a serial good guy. Just got so much yeah, good going just on. Just all around, you know, community. Good. Entrepreneur. Nice. Local right, Leah. star. Nice story, Leah. Thank you. Well much. done. Yeah. What's good, Lauren and oh, Nick? Happy, what's up, man? Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Lauren. Oh, thank you. To this, to this boss, phenomenal woman right here. To so your what? To my wife, to my girl. <laughs> happy, happy birthday. Hey, hey, congratulations. Like congrats. Like congrats. congrats. Hold on, OT. Hey. What's, the new single? what's the name of the new single? Bang. Hey, what's yeah. up, T? Hey, y'all here. Hey, hey, hold on, hold on. 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 I tripped, so y'all gotta give me a good 60 one. Hey, congrats on your uh, nomination, Thank by the you, way, sir. man. Thank you. I, I, Thank we you. look forward to you. What do you feel about Mac Miller, you know, getting nominated as well? You God, know, God was, bless you, man. That's my do you God. Feel like Nipsey Hussle. Well, one of tonight's Grammy nominees for Best Rap Album, South LA's own Nipsey Hussle. He may not have taken home a statue, but he's just getting started. I grew up in LA in the 90s, mm -hmm. you know, in the Crenshaw district. You know, I was raised by my mom, grandma. She was real, just big on keeping a tight family and big on love. That was my home life. Then outside, it was LA in the 90s. Outside, it was a little chaotic. Now, how old were you when you started writing lyrics? Probably like nine. In a 2006 interview with Davey D on Hard Knock TV, then 21, Nipsey talked about the roots of rap. It comes from strokes. People got to express their strokes. When you, ain't, when you ain't got no other means of, of, you know, liberating yourself, it's through spoken word and, and expression. By the time he recorded his 2010 mixtape, The Marathon, Nipsey was rapping about some pretty dark days. My brother was in prison. You know, we lost a home. Nipsey had also had a run-in with the law. Thought that I'd be dead and doing life because what I rap is true. How long were you in jail? I was in jail less than 90 days. Okay. I was on a probation violation, you know, and I... I um, it was like a, a tricky case. It could have went either way. I heard that you learned something in jail. You can make more money selling hair than you can selling drugs. Yeah, that's a fact. That tip on entrepreneurship is something Nipsey's taken to heart. At his retail shop at Crenshaw and Slauson, he does big business in imported hair. His Crenshaw brand of clothing. He's also invested in real estate and music. I never met a hundred million dollar drug dealer. It's plenty billion dollar hip hop brands. It's a lot of things that are more profitable than drugs, but they're not as glorified and they're not as accessible to us. Nipsey Hussle. Have you heard of Nipsey Russell? Of course. <laughs> yeah. I didn't experience his comedy. You were young. One of my older homies threw that name at me, the <laughs> Nipsey Hussle name, and I just I liked how it sounded. And then, you know, I got educated after the fight. <laughs> you know. now, what's your real name? My real name is Aramis Askadon. My first name means God will rise. The name came from his father, who was born in the East African nation of Eritrea. You did go back to Eritrea. Yeah, twice. You visited. That was a life-changing trip to see my family again and, you know, breathe the air for a little bit. With this success, what do you plan to do with it? My experience with power, you can maintain it or you get it taken from you. Yeah. You get you some newfound power and go crazy, it get taken from you quick. I try to just ground myself and be focused and because it's easy to fumble. Well, Nipsey's Grammy nomination for Victory Lap was his first. I'm sure it won't be his last. And I just have to mention here, Jeff, that not only what he's done for music and starting on his own, making his own mixtapes, selling them out of his car, but he has built a WeWork Center for kids and adults really? in the community besides the retail store that you saw. Yeah. And he's building a playground. He has plans to do so much, and he's already giving back to the people that live there and the message is you can do better. And I just think that it was important for people to know that it's about wonder, him. Wonderful when you interview someone and you leave respecting them. Oh, yes. Isn't it? Yes, I just wow. really wish him all the best. Look, relate to you, I can't if you's a fake nigga. 
When level four in the state with your mistakes get you Rap niggas, they just want a double date with you Twit pick and show these hoes that they affiliate with you Labels used to treating rappers like a slave, nigga Starving artists, just be happy with your fame, nigga Sloss hustle, look Posted on the cola till the sun come up We don't recognize your car, that's when the guns come up Look, police hit the block Niggas scatter like roaches Dope sales made in the open They smoking Take a walk with me. I'm gonna just walk through the lot with you and talk real quick. Um, yeah, so you know, originally we had this location right here. Um, it was called Sloss and Tees. We didn't have these these two corners or this third space. We was operating out of this space right here. You know, my brother had you know caught a case, went down for a few years, so we ended up losing this space. Um, when he came home, you know, he did like uh, three years with 80 percent, and when he came home. You know, he had a little money stat saved up. I had a couple dollars when he, when he touched down. We put our bread together. And the first thing he said is, I want to get this spot again. You know, I want to get back where we was at. Uh, we started in this parking lot. We grew up around here. Uh, this Shell gas station behind us used to be owned by a black man. When we was younger, we used to catch the bus going to school there. And uh, we used to always want to own something. Feeling connected to God. Get yeah, so the actual brand, the name of the brand obviously is the Marathon, and it just stands for endurance. It stands for staying down. It stands for like not quitting, accepting the ups and downs of whatever game you commit yourself to, and riding it out. I actually started with the Hustle in the House video. Copy, what's to rob? Tiny draw, dip and stone when he come home and baby we dog. And can't forget my big brother Black Sam, just a young hood nigga with a million dollar plans. Blue and gold, Crenshaw crew neck. You know, it's actually a source of tourism at this point. All type of people from uh, Australia, Europe, Africa, all over the world is pulling up to the Crenshaw Slauson. Um, and it's not to buy drugs, it's not to do anything illegal, it's to actually tap into the story and, and support. And so, you know, it's important that the people understand what that process was. What's that all that mean? Oh. Where your money at? We gon' smoke a hundred sacks Shootin' up your block, switch cars, then we double back You a funny cat, you ain't made a hundred racks You ain't nothing like Nip Puss, well, that's a fucking fact Puttin' on for my city, got a hundred stats I'm the realest nigga in it, can't front on that A lot of fake niggas hate me cause they wanna rap If they dumb enough to say it, I'ma fucking snap You know, we also want things of value that represent us. So, you know, June 17th, you know, we really proud to open the door. This was like three, four years in the making. We went through a lot of stages with this and everybody put their blood, sweat and tears into it. So June 17th, Crenshaw Slauson, Marathon Store, flagship grand opening. Y'all come check us out. That ain't set up, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, let me get in here, player. Hold on, hold on, player, hold on, player. Don't do me like that. Hold on, player. All right, Snoop. All right, Red Fox, I see it. This is 60th and 8th Ave where we standing right now. This is the 8th Ave liquor store. My granny stayed a couple blocks down the street on 5th, you know. Granddaddy stayed on 10th Avenue in, in, uh, in 60th. My mama stayed on Rampart 60th. So this is just a, a central liquor store in our area, 8th Ave liquor store. 
They actually used this um, same store in the Boys in the Hood movie. You know what I'm saying? This is one of the locations. So growing up, we thought that was tight that they filmed that in our area, where we actually shop at, you know what I'm saying? Come on, let's keep going. Up. Look at my car. Look at my grill, look like a star. Look at my life. Came up, nigga, we came so far, you see it. Crush off. Right now, we on 60th and Madden, my young bro. We asked the banger spot, central location for the movement. We just gonna show you where a lot of the ideas was inspired, you know what I'm saying? In my young homie, Tiny Boss Hall bedroom. Check it out. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, get Another the walls. Huh? Nah, you know what I'm saying? We used to have a studio set up here, you know what I mean? And just motivation on the wall, you know what I mean? We brainstorm, round table. A lot of times, if we enter the studio, we enter the shop, we come on Madden, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta all money in, you know, stay focused. Quitting is not an option. Six O's make a million. Big money only. You know, talk about it, be about it. You know what I mean? How hard are you really going? different things that you wake up to, you know what I mean, when you're on this marathon. How does it feel to be famous? Fuck fame, man, nigga, don't get some money, man. Don't worry about no fame. That's my true answer, you know what I'm saying? Look, count my nose, smoke up. I'm from California. Me and my weed is broke. All my bitches go up. Where you from? So what? It's my workspace. You know, that's where everything happens. That's where the magic get made at. I get in here, you know what I'm saying, I just zone out. A lot of times I'm on Ryder. You know, Rallo will be in here and uh, we just, I hop in the booth and I hear the beat, hit press play, and we just go back and forth with lines, and, you know what I mean? Just run it over and over and over until it's a verse. And when we listen back, we always blown away. But right now, I gotta do what I do, get back to work, you know what I'm saying? Work on this victory lap. Till next time, the marathon continues. I love y'all, appreciate the support. And until next time, hustle. Yeah, this your life, you can play with it. You make your bed, you gon' lay in it. Do your thing, just be safe with it. Triple bucks in the state prison. Nip could have taken his money and opened up a store anywhere. But of course, you know, real recognized, real. All these different shades of people and all these people that came out. And it's hot as hell. They say we act crazy when it's hot. <laughs> but we ain't acting crazy, man. So I just want to thank everybody for coming out. Also. Police are confirming that one person was killed in this shooting, but again, even though we have multiple reports that person is Nipsey Hussle, we have no official word on that yet. The rapper tweeted shortly before the incident, quote, having strong enemies is a blessing. I'm inspired, obviously, you know, I want to get back in and make some new music, humbled. I know how much we put into the album, so, you know, to be recognized, it means a lot, you know, for my team also, everybody that worked on it. We're just excited and, and, you know, happy to be here. Celebrities took to social media immediately to mourn his loss. Nipsey is survived by his two children, Cross and Imani. I was a childhood friend. I've been knowing him all my life. He was like family to me. I look at life like a marathon. More so than the physical side, the mental aspect of being committed to something that challenges you. Throughout all the challenges you journey through at me, I remember times with faith, my commitment, it was all tested. Being raided by the police and back and forth to jail. Real big, real big. I know one day I would do it. Real big, real shit, real shit. I know what my real niggas feel is. Nighttime, low songs, and even see the stars, but we still wish. Real shit, real shit. Who would ever thought that we would build this? Trying to walk to school, get your jaw sock. Trying to pump your gas, get your car shot. Large profit margin on the long shots.